Hey there, I am Mike the Zorch, and I haven't done one of these vlogs in a while. So I'm here to talk about something pretty serious, pretty important. Now, uh, if you've been watching the news, um, it depends on what news outlet you're watching. A lot of which of the main scream media fake news you've been watching, they will either tell you the truth of what's going on or not. Um, one of the things is is Facebook being called out as LifeLog, which is the DARPA program. Uh, LifeLog was a DARPA program where you would voluntarily hand over all of your personal information, information about yourself, your family, everything about you, so that the government would know everything about you. Well, they couldn't get anybody to sign up for that program. And so they shut it down. And the same day they shut it down, Facebook started. And so Facebook's been outed as a continuation of that program. Instead of not being able to voluntarily get people to hand over their information, they slapped a social network in the front of it, and they've been collecting information and data on people. Uh, disguising it as a social network and so now there are people leaving Facebook by the thousands Tigers leaving Facebook a lot of his family's leaving Facebook he still has some family there he still has a, his account there but he's not gonna post there anymore and I'm not gonna post there anymore in fact I haven't posted in Facebook in years I haven't posted in Facebook in years. I made one post just recently. And any other posts that are from me on Facebook are automated from other services like Restream. Whenever I go online with um, Bike with Mike here on this channel, which I need to get back into doing those live streams, they're all automated. Uh, the other thing, and this is the most important thing I wanted to talk about, is this thing going on with Google and you may or may not have heard about it again depending on which of the mainstream media fake news channels you watch Google's been called out by the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff for engaging in business practices that directly aid a foreign government with which we have a trade and political dispute they, are ref they refuse to work with the military here in the U.S. That's fine. It's a prerogative. It's a company doesn't, if a military approaches a company and asks them, you know, work with us on something, and they say no, that's their prerogative. But when they go to a foreign country, in this, in this case it's China, they go to China and they help that, com they help that country set up a system that will help them help them continue to oppress their people, censor their people, and also engage in practices that help their military. And at the same time, we're having a trade and political dispute with that country. We're not having, we're not at war with China. So this won't be treason, but it's close. This could be used as an excuse to break up Google. There is the very real possibility that this could happen. And this is something that everyone who makes content on YouTube has to take dead serious. Because this is a serious legal problem for Google. This could hurt Google badly. Not only could they lose advertisers, a lot of advertising revenue because of this. Because advertisers could leave them because of this. And I think some of them have. But this could cause Google to be broken up. And this could impact everybody like me and like Tigra and like everyone else that makes content but who uses uh, Google Drive. I use Google Drive extensively. I use Gmail. I use YouTube, of course, because I'm putting this video on YouTube. This could impact Daniel, who is the owner of Gamers Bay. This could impact his channel. And everyone else who has a bigger channel, has a much bigger channel, and that's their job. It is their livelihood. This could impact all of that. This is 
This is piled on top of all the other crap that YouTube has been doing, slapping content creators in the face, the people that made YouTube what it is. All the stuff with the content ID system and, and not enough checks and balances for abuse of the uh, of copyright takedowns and, and everything that they've been doing and all these new rules that they've been putting into place that like what happened with Jay's two cents recently where he would where he almost got a strike for running a contest things like that and then you have this on top of it this this legal thing for Google that could cause them to, to break up. And if YouTube gets broken up from Google, I don't see YouTube having a future because they have too much, they don't have enough revenue coming in, YouTube's never been profitable, and they've got too much financial overhead because all the bandwidth they have to pay for all the servers that they have to pay for to run everything is too expensive and they're not making enough money to survive on their own. The reason why they are still operating today is because Google pays most of their bills. And if they don't have Google, they're not able to make enough money to stay afloat. They will crumble. This is a fact. This isn't speculation. This isn't speculation at all. Anyone who knows anything enough about YouTube, knows enough about Google, knows that YouTube on their own, by themselves, as a separate company, will not survive. They say, oh, well, YouTube survived just fine before Google bought them. That was then. This is now. They're so much bigger now. They are so much bigger now. They use up so much bandwidth now. They have, they have such a huge overhead now compared to where they were when, when Google bought them. They're so much bigger now. And so their costs of running their business is so much higher. But they're not making enough to pay for that. And so if they are forced to be on their own, if Google is broken up, which is a very real possibility. I don't see a future for YouTube. I do not see a future for YouTube. I don't see how they can survive without making significant changes, without doing something like charging a subscription fee, making YouTube Red mandatory. I don't see it. I don't see how they can. So this is a very, very real problem that has to be taken seriously. You cannot blow this off because what's going on could, the worst case scenario, it would end Google. Best case scenario, they would, regulators would force Google to break up just like AT&T was broke up. So you would see Gmail and YouTube and Google Drive and, and other things go their separate ways. And a lot of us use those services. I use Gmail heavily. I use Google Drive heavily. I, mean, I pay $1.99 a month for 100, for 100 gig for uh, Gmail because Everything I do for Zort Central, all the video thumbnails and stuff that I make, I store those on Google Drive. There you go. I store them on my on they're on my system locally, but they're mirrored on Google Drive as well. And that way, I no matter what system, no matter what machine I can go I go to, if I have access to my Google Drive. I'll be able to create my video thumbnails like the one I'm going to create for this video. Now, and then there's YouTube, of course, which is some people making videos like this is their job. And that could go away 
because YouTube just YouTube in their current state right now could not operate on their own without making significant changes significant changes that would most like that would most they would more likely throw us creators under the bus and embrace big corporate creators than to do anything that benefits us in order to make more money they would they would do that i know daniel would agree with me on that they would do that they would they would they they they've been doing it already they've been tossing us under the bus on a lot of things if push came to shove to keep their service going if they were forced to be on their own they would throw us content creators under the bus and so this is a very real real danger this is a very real threat to our livelihoods now gamers bay and zort central don't make money off of youtube we're not a part of the we're not a part of the partner program because YouTube changed their rules last year. So what can you do? Um, now I've been saying that YouTube needs a needs a competitor. Well, one exists. There is one. I learned about it not long ago. It's it's called BitChute. And BitChute was built specifically as a result of all the stuff, all the shenanigans that YouTube was, YouTube is currently involved in. All the shenanigans of that you doing against us, content creators. It was built as a response to all of that. And they have some pretty good technology. They are using what's called WebTorrent. You don't need a client for it. It's all built into the website. What it does is it uh, spreads out the bandwidth among all the users of the service. So that when you're viewing videos, you are also helping to seed it to other people. And it all works in the background. It is doesn't put stress on your CPU. Uh, it seems to be very good technology. And it's incompatible with the uh, BitTorrent. It's incompatible with BitTorrent. It uses the same protocol, but it's incompatible with BitTorrent. So y going to BitChute, you're not going to get a virus. Okay? You're not going to get a virus or anything like that. You're not going to be downloading files or anything like that because it's, it's incompatible with... it uses the BitTorrent network, but it's incompatible with BitTorrent protocols. The same protocols used for downloading files. It's a, it's a different set of protocols on that network. And it works really well. And that's how they're able to ease the bandwidth costs for the service. They still host the videos, but they convert it into a video format that works best in that, in that style. And I've gone through a lot of videos on a lot of different channels there and I have not seen any kind of playback issues any kind of issues with quality or anything and you know they are very focused on allowing creators to basically express themselves they are very pro creator pro creator <laughs> Uh, they're very, very, very much on the side of content creators, and there are some some YouTubers have actually started to mirror their channels there. So because of all this stuff that's going on with Google, this this whole thing that could basically split Google up and force YouTube to go off on its own and possibly end up in Chapter 11 or worse. There's a real possibility of that. You have to take this seriously, especially if you are making money off YouTube. You can't ignore this. You cannot ignore this. You are stupid if you don't. If you do. You are stupid if you ignore this. And you are blindsided when something happens. So what I am doing, what I'm going to do, 
is I'm going to start mirroring Zort Central onto Bitchu. Now, I can't tell Daniel what to do, but I've already sent him a message letting him know what's going on and that he needs to take this seriously and that if he wants Gamers Bay to have any kind of future, if something happens, and it very likely will, he should start doing the same thing. And if you are a content creator on YouTube, you also should start doing the same thing. You should also start considering looking towards the future without YouTube. If I have to move my channel to another service, I need to start. You, you should really start thinking about it now. Because it is a very real possibility that a year or a couple of years from now or sooner, there won't be a YouTube anymore. You have to really take that into consideration because of what's going on. Uh, it's pretty serious. And especially for those, again, for those for whom this is their livelihood. YouTube is their job. You can ignore this. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is not a, well, this might happen, it might not. No, this is, this is very likely going to happen. Because this is serious enough. This is serious enough. This is a U.S. company. This is a company based in the U.S. that is helping foreign government and foreign military that we are currently having political issues with. There's going to be legal, pre legal repercussions for that. Some serious ones. And it could end up with Google being split up. This is no joke. This is not something that you can, you know, just rake under the rug brush under the rug something you can ignore this is something that should be scaring everyone that makes content on YouTube this is something that you need to take seriously I am Mike DeZorch and I'll see you next time